So this is what we're going to be reviewing today. All of these products. We'll also be reviewing some tools that we naturals like to use. So so stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned. How much time we have? 18 minutes? Bro, that's not going to be long enough. Wave after wave. Wave after wave. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. The overall length of it probably won't be too short, but the individual reviews will be jump cut because we like that type of editing, don't we? Impatient America! Today's video is going to be very American. You're going to get to see me in all of my suburban glory, all of my <laughs> first world problems. I have two bags of these. This product is really, really good. I actually used it today to lay this. I did not use Echo Style. It's bomb.com. I don't ever talk about it in my videos just because. The next thing is this, this product. I got it from the UK. It's awesome. It's bomb. I love it. It smells like a white girl hair product. And we're here for it, okay? Like a Garnier, Fruit Cheese, L'Oreal, Paris type vibe, but it doesn't have that nasty perfume chemical smell that I do not like. I actually used it again for this and I use this as well. So I use those three products for this look and it will be in a video soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. The Maui Moisture Collection line, I highly recommend it. It's so bomb guys. It makes my hair so soft. Okay, the Millie Organics. This is a lot of craze here on YouTube. You'll see tons of people go into like a 20 minute review about it. Not here. What I'll say about it is, <sighs> It has really good ingredients, however, trying to work it into your hair wet, to me, it just doesn't do glory. So I wouldn't recommend it as like a styler, but more of a refresher with some water. But this product, this is the Hibiscus line from Shea Moisture. It's probably the most talked about line in the natural hair community ever, along with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I love both of these products. I think they work really, really nice. Um, I just used this today because my hair was feeling a bit greasy, and as you guys can see, it's shiny it's bomb it's good to go this just I already said it too I really love this product for twisting for braiding it wash and goes I don't really like it that much I feel like it does something weird this is the as I am leave-in conditioner I really love it I, it works amazing I use it for wash and goes this is super liquidy super creamy moving on to my showbiz days I used hairspray like none other I was in theater I have been in theater since I was three years old theater is something that I have been doing I feel like as I've gotten older it's kind of been more on and off because theater isn't what I want to do theater is so demanding honestly and I want to be in film and like television and commercial type work I don't really like Broadway and theater and stuff like that I did as a kid but now it's just like but anyway I still enjoy doing like community theaters or like my school theater or whatever more or less I love this hairspray it's probably my favorite hairspray because it's by Tresemme I don't trust the L'Oreal one it leaves my hair looking white crusty and ghosty disgusting um, so if you need a hairspray I I don't not like it I enjoy it being in there and kind of looking at it. it has a very minty smell like it's so minty fresh it's like those peppermints that you take after leaving Olive Garden like they are just like that chocolate peppermint it's like that it's just like Styling foam. I have two styling foam foams. I do like both of these. I would say I like the Alistia P one more. It is also more empty than this one. It's a bit more moisturizing. It does have olive oil and shea butter in it, or avocado oil, vitamin E, and coconut oil in it, and olive oil. So maybe that's what it is. All those oils mixed into there, even if it's like the second to last ingredient. Um, that's one more ingredient that this one doesn't have. But it's not like I don't like this one, but I do like this one. And this one's easier to get as well. The Aragon Oil one, I've tried this one. I've tried the black one, the black protein one that uh, Juju B, the girl on here on YouTube as well, that she uses. It's also pretty good. I don't mind either one. They kind of all work somewhat similar to me. It's a pretty color. I think it complements my skin tone. Lately I haven't been using this one as much um, just because there's other alternatives that I've been using. I've been using flaxseed gel, my homemade flaxseed gel, bomb.com. It moisturizes my hair. I love it. This one is more of like if I'm in the rush, three minutes to get out the door and I need to lay my edges or something. That's kind of what I use this for. Moving on to the beautiful textures. I am actually a huge fan of this. this is the curl pudding. I love the way it smells. It smells like, I don't know if you guys ever seen that black movie Crooklyn, but that's what this reminds me of. It just smells like good, good down to earth black product. It's reliable and that's what we need sometimes. I don't actually know why I don't buy more of it because I genuinely like it that much. 
the Shea Moisture Smooth Finish Conditioner. This is really good. This is the blue line. They have a yellow, red, and some other line. My mom loves the red line. The blue line has keratin in it. it break me out right on my cheekbones. Like, it gives me those, those types of breakouts that are like, ugh annoying every single time I tried it again I'd find a breakout again right by my cheekbone area but other than that like if it didn't break me out this would be a go-to product because it makes my hair so easy to work with the slip that this gives is amazing um, but it's not worth the breakout for me <laughs> natural hair coconut curling smoothie by Cantu love this product I used it last year for summer so summer 16 it smells just like coconut, really. Restorative conditioner. I love this product when my hair is dry and crispy af, like when it's just trying to die on me. This is a rejuvenator. It comes down from the heavens, so I genuinely recommend this product. As I am co-wash, this bad boy is bomb.com. It definitely co-washes my hair. I think I need to buy some more of this because shampooing... Like, I don't know, something about shampooing is, what the, bird poop? Something about shampooing so often, now I just shampooed again, my hair is still very shiny as you can tell, but like there's something else different about it. So what I'm going to try is co-washing when I need a shampoo, and then when I need to be burning my hair off with fire because it has so much build up, I'll shampoo. So this is the True Made by Beautiful. I really genuinely like this. It does feel like, it doesn't feel nourishing until after your hair dries. When you put it on, it kind of feels like, what is this? But if you let it sit and you can tuck it through, then it is very moisturizing. Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Mask. I did notice when I started using this, I felt like my hair was looking more dull than usual. It doesn't say that it does that. It says it boosts shine, but maybe Maybe there was already too much shine in my hair that it just kind of brought it, I don't know. I felt like my hair looked dry. However, I still really like it. I like the smell of it and it makes your hair nice and strong. Stronghold. Okay, last box. Finish this one. Moving on with five minutes to go. Shea Moisture Sancha Inchi Omega Jericho Rose Oil 1. This is awesome. Super light and smells really divine. It smells like you're going to get married at 15 in the temple of Jerusalem. <laughs> I mean, it just smells very pure and innocent and not American. <laughs> already talked about this. This is the Yucca and Plantain Styling Meal. The only thing I do not like at all is the size. It's it's hella small. <laughs> and this is the this is the full size. There isn't even a trial size to this. Diva Curl Archangel Gel. Hold it forever? No. Hold it for I'd say maybe an hour. Um, I do like it on my hair though, it's pretty lightweight and it's pretty soft when I touch it, which is a must. So, I like this, yes. The Afro G Packets. This is my favorite protein mask ever. I have a trial size just because it's way cheaper. Curl Screen Blue I talk about it in every video, it's a must to go to. This is the Curl Love by Camille Rose, it is another must. It has like rice oil in it, super delicious smell though, oh my gosh it smells like Thanksgiving. A specialty hair moisture foundation. This is for if you swim a lot. She made it for her 4C daughter who loved to swim but her hair was suffering the consequences. Um, it's super moisturizing. I can definitely see how her daughter survived after this. Um, I recommend for really deep nice moisture. Anyway I have the Jamaican black castor oil conditioner. I love this stuff. It's just like the mask but in conditioner form so again 10 out of 10 we recommend. Silk Fusion. I got this after I seen Zendaya used it and she was like the sponsor of it and of course you know they always lie but whatever my hair feels so fake it's so soft and shiny but no it kind of makes it feel like mm, synthetic wig where are you at kind of so it's not a terrible thing but for $23 if you don't get this on sale wouldn't recommend I'd say about six out of ten can two this is the define and shine custard delivers brilliant shine um it flakes a lot but the hold is bomb it's that type of flaky when you make reservations and they call you three minutes early three minutes before it's time to go and they're like i can't come that's that type of flaky like it's really bad this is the shea moisture manuka honey i love this especially in the winter i will actually be using it again for the winter. I love this conditioner, especially living in a very dry, cold climate. It's bomb. Now we're on to tools. These are wave brushes. I asked um, this guy that I was talking to, he is white, if he knew what this was. <laughs> Ew. And I asked him what he, if he knew what this was, and he said he, it looks like a dog brush, so. 
Okay, anyway, so this would be a 10 out of 10. This is the Tangle Teaser. I really genuinely like this. I would never, I don't see myself using it to like actually detangle hair. I only use it really to brush my hair down. Keep it fly, keep it pressed. Okay, moving on to uh, styling brushes or baby hair brushes or toothbrushes. Yeah, the baby and the oval one are my two favorites. The oval one creates perfect swoops, bro. Perfect swoops. Like, beautiful swoop. Beautiful. And then I like the baby hair brush because it's muy misionado porque mi rizados es muy bonita. That's what this gives me. It gives me that very effortless Latina swoop is what I call it. This is what this one gives me. This one gives me more of that pressed ooh girl. That's what this one gives me, okay? It gives me sass, it gives me dramatics, it gives me, it gives me all the right things, okay? Wondering. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, um, let me know. I just thought I would do this because it was recommended from you guys to let you know what works and what doesn't. What's a pass, what's a hit, what's a miss. So yes. Hairstyle coming soon for this. My next updated routine will be up as well. Um, I got a lot of stuff to get out for you guys, and you guys won't be pumped for it. But I definitely do need to plan accordingly so I can get it out properly. I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.